Hi, it's Michaeli here from Black Knight. This time we're going to be looking very briefly at uploading files using FileZilla. FileZilla is an open source FTP um, client. In other words, it's software that allows you to upload and download files from your PC or your Mac to a web server such as the ones that you would use where you're hosting a site with us. So you can go to the FileZilla website and you can download a uh, version of the software that suits you. Now as we're doing this on a Mac we went here and we downloaded the Intel version. Okay so I've downloaded that, got a copy sitting on my machine and now we're going to set up FTP. So you go to your control panel, you log in and just wait for a second for the pages to load. Go to select subscription. So this time we're going to be working on this domain over here. So we select that subscription. As you could have multiple hosting accounts, hosting packages. Then you go into web space and then you go to FTP access. And here you have the details that you need to connect to the FTP server. Okay, so here are all the details. You have the server address, you also have the IP address, you have the document route, etc. etc. So what we then do is we open up FileZilla. Now FileZilla has this little thing here called the Site Manager, which allows you to easily configure sites um, so that you're, you know where exactly everything is all set up. You have your usernames and your passwords, plus you can also specify where your files for a particular site are located on your hard drive and you can also configure it so that it knows exactly where to send them on the remote server in other words on the server where you're hosting the website so let's go to through new site and we'll call this my test site okay so the host name that can be either the IP address or the um, the actual address like that. So just copy that into here. Don't need to worry about the port number because it's standard and we're going to be using FTP. The login type is normal. So you just set the username, pull it in from here and then of course you just need the password. Now just be careful when you're doing a copy and paste because sometimes you end up with an extra space or an extra character or something which of course will throw an error. And now just for the bit of fun you can go to the advanced section and here you can choose which where you actually keep the files on your local machine. So I'm going to say in my case that they're on my desktop. Okay and then the default remote directory in other words where where they're uploaded to. So there you go to the document route just copy that and just put that in there then OK so it saves it go back into site manager so here's my test site you see it's got all the details and if we click on connect so um, I've already had a connection so this is going to give me a new one so there you have the files on the server you can see there's an index.html there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an index.html that I made earlier today. It's not a very exciting file, but I'm just going to drag that across. And it's going to say, right, here we go. There's already a file there. In other words, it's the default file that was uh, put there when the site was created. And it's going to ask me, asking me, what do I want to do? So in this case, we have all these options. We can overwrite it we can um, so it's going to ask me you know what I want to do here so let's let's just overwrite it okay so now we have my new rather boring one and if we go here and we reload the page you'll just get back this is just a test file because I didn't put anything interesting in it and there you go 